A group of Stoneman Douglas High School students is at the center of a teen-led revolution. This morning, we go inside the making of a movement for safer schools. CBS cameras begin following David Hogg, Emma Gonzalez, Cameron Kasky, and Delaney Tarr from one of their first meetings to behind closed doors with lawmakers. They are organizing this month's March for Our Lives and ultimately want lawmakers to pass meaningful reforms. Good morning on this Wednesday. A roller coaster of emotions as teachers and staff welcome students. Class back in session at Stoneman Douglas. I need to talk to you. Yeah. What about bulletproof glass? Okay. All the glasses being replaced is bulletproof. We heard more gunshots, and that was when we realized that this was not a drill. In case I died, I wanted to die doing what I love most, which is informing people and telling stories. If all our government and president can do is send thoughts and prayers, that it's time for victims to be the change that we need to see. We didn't start the rally, but there were people joining us, saw that we were sitting there, and just started showing up. Then all of a sudden, it turned into a rally, and that was cool. We are going to be the last mass shooting. The reason this is going to be the last one is because this is the first real time that we're making a political difference. We are bringing it right to them. My advice to you is to stay on message and, and keep following your passion. Let's start this march. Woo! We're not trying to take away the guns of people who are hunting, and that's something that we definitely need to clarify. Any White House contacts, I've been calling like every number I could find, and all of them don't answer. Why don't you want me to call them now? Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. call has been forwarded to you. Exactly. <laughs> The story tonight continues to be the inspiring activism of children. Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA? In the future? You guys are being watched by the entire nation. Well, I don't have a good angle. You guys need to make sure that you stay strong and you keep the message. To see us listed as these heroes, as these bastions of change, it's scary. But Sienna. Because we, we are teenagers, we are children. We are not here to be patted on the back. We're doing it so that our lawmakers will make a change. Florida lawmaker struck down a motion to consider a bill proposing a ban on assault rifles. Those people should know that they need to enjoy their political position of power right now because they aren't going to have it for much, for much longer. There's no reason we have to have this many guns. As for what we have in the future, we have the March for Our Lives, March 24th, which is going to be amazing. All the parents are going to be bringing their kids. All the kids are going to be bringing their parents. As much as we'd like to expect that generation to help us out, we've kind of been doing this ourselves, and we've kind of been, you know, winning. We'll continue following the students and other members of the movement here on CBS This Morning, and you can see more of these behind-the-scenes moments on tonight's CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor. It is amazing what yes. these kids have done. They have almost single-handedly reconfigured the landscape around gun safety. And they have to stay on it all the way to that march because, as we see from Senator Flake, the, polit the political forces that have uh, are still all in play. Tenacity. Well, yeah, yet they're doing it while we know they're still dealing with such trauma at night. Mm -hmm. I, I saw interviews where they're still haunted by it, and they're still sort, trying to sort that out for themselves, too, which makes it even more amazing what these kids are doing. Incredibly. March 24th is going to be a very special big day.